All right. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to part eight. Uh, in this one, we are gonna start working on the nose. And sorry for the long wait. You know, my schedule has been uh, pretty tight, but um, uh, ready to move forward. So I have the model here. Let's go to the vertex mode. And for the nose, we would have to start pulling these vertices out. Um, what I want to do at this point is change my uh, select by region option to the paintbrush. Uh, very nice tool. And it's kind of like you just click and drag and paint on the vertices you want to select. Uh, just like that. Once you're done, all you need to do is pull these vertices out a little bit like that and we have to kind of change the selections deselect these guys move these guys a little forward uh, these guys can go back and just start giving a shape to the nose and at this point if you would like to use a reference image that's a good idea to to have that in the background so you can match the shape of the nose uh, with the reference image um, next thing what I want to do is uh, select these vertices here in this line and turn on my edge constraint and move these guys backward something like that uh, these guys can go back a little more okay and we can add some extra details to this area um, using the same technique as what we've been doing in the past so let's go to the edge mode start with this metal edge here hold down the control key and start selecting these edges and stop at this point so you should have about uh, three four five six seven eight nine ten I just selected uh, once you do hit on the connect button and we added the extra edge loop here again um, we have a triangle and a five-sided poly so we'll fix it using the same technique let me zoom in uh, just deselect everything turn on insert vertex 3d snaps make sure you're snapping to the midpoints and we're gonna insert a new vertex on this edge here once you're done right click turn off the snap go back to the vertex mode and connect these two vertices okay and we can move this guy up a little bit something like that so we have this extra edge loop to work with and what I can do is select these guys here and get out of my edge constraint mode because I need to move these guys forward uh, something like this and it's looking good so far let's see Uh, maybe these guys can come down a little bit this vertex can go up and this guy can go up we can move this guy uh, to the left and these vertices let's constrain them back to the edges and bring them down like that something like this actually you know make it go back up a little bit and these guys can come closer uh, to to these three vertices here something like this 
and then we select these three vertices get out of the edge constraint move them forward something like that okay uh, let's turn on some smoothing and see what it looks like so we're starting to have some some shape of the nose uh, it's a good starting point and um, you know you can spend more time with this and uh, uh, make it longer or you know extrude certain polygons and give it some nostrils um, things of that nature but I, I guess so far it's looking okay so there we go we have we have a start of the nose and if you want you can also keep the smoothing on and work like this you know um, to get an idea what the model looks like after the smoothing has been applied so let me turn it off for now so there we go we have the start of the nose um, gonna stop at this point and in the next part what we're gonna do is add some details to the uh, to the eyes thanks for watching and I'll see you next time